This is Steve Ward's electronic rotary table divider, uh, which um, I have just completed putting together, which is using uh, an old Sherline uh, stroke TAG rotary table which I had and I had updated on my mill for a larger rotary table and this was going spare so uh, I thought best to make a good use of it and um, I downloaded off the internet Steve Ward's instructions had a good look at it and reckoned I should be able to cope with this alright and um, put this all together and it's in split into two simple block boxes the transformer and the stepper motor controller into this box which is a little bit big um, but it's the only one I could fit everything into that I bought off um, eBay and the controller is in this box and on the front the buttons are clicky buttons which um, I uh, fitted behind in cutouts behind the numbers on a simply laminated page which I got downloaded from Steve's site so that was quite easy to do so if I just open the controller box up you can see that there's not much inside there's two boards uh, there's the board that has a display on it and the second board which has the clicky um, number pad on um, and then there are various wire connections giving the signal connections through to um, the stepper motor controller um, this was all bought as two separate units completely assembled from Steve via his website details of which I've shown um, I was a bit concerned about having to do very small soldering on uh, components like this but there actually wasn't any soldering to do at all it's all just screwing connectors um, so that's very straightforward uh, the connectors I used um, straightforward 9 pin connectors um, which I'd already got on the tag system um, and I had the leads on here already so uh, I, that was all very straightforward for me the only thing I haven't done yet is I haven't wired on uh, an on off switch which I need to do and I'll probably put that in the top um, and <coughs> at the back I've done a cut out for the fan And I, it may be a good idea to have a, a built-in fan, which I can easily do, uh, because the uh, supply in here is rated high enough to be able to cope with the fan as well as the uh, control. The controller has very low current. To it. So that's the work that's involved in doing. It took a very little time to put together. More time in cutting holes in the boxes and that sort of thing and anything else so if I put this all back I'll put the lid on just so that I can put this on top so you can see what's happening when, I'm, when I move the controller I should point out that the, this particular rotary table is reasonably modest size, it's not terribly heavy and the front of this unscrews so you can tap and thread things into the back of it in the centre and I had in mind maybe lining up the headstock of the lathe on there um, and making a fitting to hold the weight of it uh, separately. Uh, but that's work I've got to do yet and I may post something later on about that um, so that's and also I mounted on the back of here a plate just to allow me to mount in two directions but I probably won't be needing that on this particular setup 
I'll probably show this mostly in close up on the screen so you can read the writing. The um, screen when you go in offers you, the front entry screen offers you the various modes which are jogging, division, degrees, continuous, program and setup. I've dealt with uh, the setup um, which is just a matter of stepping through and telling it what um, settings you want for the speed of the stepper motor and so on. And I used all of the uh, standard um, settings that Steve provided and I only had to change the numbers of steps um, to cope with the uh, numbers of uh, gear ratio in the, in the rotary table um, and the stepper motor itself, its characteristics. Uh, but I had no trouble doing that. Right, so I think the one that people mostly will use, so I'll just go straight into the division setting. So, say this particular one I've set up here for 10 divisions. So that will be uh, 10 divisions to go around 360 degrees. So it's in position 1, so I just press the G then to move on to the next screen. Um, and it's, I haven't made any changes now, it's division naught of 10. So if I press the arrow key at the bottom, I'll zoom in and out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I press the arrow key. That's gone to 36 degrees. That's 72. Just come up and shoot so you can see the rather loud noises coming from the stepper motor. It's 180 degrees from where I started. And that gets me back to uh, the position I started at. So if I go back to the main screen here, and instead of going into divisions, which is where I was in before, I'm going to go to degrees. So if I go to degrees, which is 3, it's still set at the 60 from the indexing. So that brings it to 90. So if I then go press direction to start it. It's 90 degrees. Press again, it goes to 180. And I'll stop that now. Uh, I 
can go to jog it, um, which goes in 10 increments on the arrows, forward and backwards. And then I can do smaller jogs uh, using different keys. I have to look at the manual now because I haven't really understood how to do that. Um, Job mode, there we go. Um, seven and nine go one degree. Four and six go point one. And one and three go by point oh one. So that's uh, and the speed settings are set here. And there we go. That's the fastest and that's the slowest. So that's taking you through uh, the division, the degree and the jog. Um, the program screen you won't need, at least not to start with. Uh, this is continuous. with the stop button and come out of that and go to uh, the jog screen again give you an idea of how that all works. So I've come out of that. Um, and then the setup, uh, the, that's the maximum speed. Let's go through these steps per, and that's what I needed to enter. Swap rotation direction, you can direction clockwise or counterclockwise. Set up for backlash, and the pulse rate, and polarity, and use the default menu, profile, auto run, I don't want to use that, and then factory resets. Nine setup. Maximum. Make that um, 1200. No, 1500, I think. See what happens. And then go back to jog again. Set it on the fastest. quite a bit faster than it was. I've still to play with all these settings. I'm still finding my way around the program. Um, and just to show you divisions again, uh, previously I was in and only got a fairly small number of div even divisions. That's position 1 on 127.
Right, that's finished the uh, video showing how the system works. Uh, it seems to do exactly what it's supposed to. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to try and fabricate a mount to put on the lathe so that the spindle can connect directly into the boss in there. And the weight of it will have to be supported the table underneath. Um, and I'm very pleased with this. This looks like it's going to be a useful addition and makes use of something that I had spare anyway. And thanks to Steve for that. Details on the initial page in YouTube.